Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. I need to a call about concealed hinges. I, I'm somewhat familiar with those. Can I give you the, name, the number? Yeah, sure. It's, you know, Peter Mayer. Peter Mayer hinges. Uh, it's CMC. One one three zero BBR. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with those, but it's a pretty generic hinge in terms of what it is. Well, I, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with saw hinges anyway. My p question is: this oil water bronze? I need like forty boxes. I need like one hundred and twenty hinges. <laughs> That's a big. If if uh, if my client likes this hinge. And it's finished. Uh, I need like 120 hinges, which is 40 boxes. Okay. Is that something uh, I didn't know if it was going to be more than you could handle? That's all. I was, I, this is my question: Is how many how many you have? I don't I don't stock that at all. Um, why does it have to be that hinge, and why not um, why not a sauce hinge? Well, I guess you like the modernness of it. Um, I just uh, I thought it was on your website here, and I thought your phone number came up with this hinge. I just thought it was something you had in stock. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I mean that that's me. Um, but I, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not the designer or the owner. Um, but right. you're familiar with sauce, and you see the price of this thing. I mean, sauce hinges are a fraction of the cost, and if you need that many, you've got to ask yourself: Do you really need the three axis? adjustability. So if you're familiar with sauce, I'm going to go with the answer is no, you don't. You know how to use a router and you don't need a second chance. So I see. No, I, I, no I'm, the, I'm the door builder myself, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, those hinges are used, in my opinion, the, my mill worker company uh, clients that buy this type of hinge, whether it be Sugatsuni, obviously Tectus, McKinney makes a version of this as well. Um. I'm just thinking, why all the extra money? Can't you guys have seen it correctly? And no, I, was saying, I, was, I wasn't even that far ahead with, with the cost and everything right now. I just thought yeah, it was not, something that they liked, and then I didn't know whether it was a bulk price or was even able to get that many hinges. So. But I agree yeah. with you. Sauce is less, less expensive. So, I mean, I'll you, you have the sauce then? Is it the 218 or something like this? Yeah, of course. I'm I'm... I'm extremely familiar with with sauce and you know and these you know these last two decade evolutions of the sauce hinges. So, and sauce has said they're never going to make a, uh, an adjustable hinge. They're never going right. to do it. Now I, I I've did. got a customer of mine who swears by him and they use Tectus. Um, and I said I asked the client if they found over time that the hinges came out of adjustment because. What's governing your lateral, your height, and your inset adjustment are just bolts with thread lock on them. And I and he said he'd never had an, an instance, but he's all he was also a fanboy. He 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 wasn't gonna say anything bad about the Tectus hinge. Me personally, I would be suspect as to needing to adjust that over time. Even even a butt hinge is gonna come loose eventually. So you're saying the sauce is the way to go then? In my opinion, dollar for dollar, if the machiner, right. the door supplier, the installer has experience or they're willing to learn, it's hard to argue uh, quadrupling your budget for hinges. That's that's all I'm that oh, okay. I am saying. Right. That. I'm not saying don't use this, but I am saying you've got to really figure out do you need to do you need to five x the cost of your hardware or four x it. I'm thinking you don't. All right. Right. No, I get it. No, it's a big house. Now, I do I do ten, twelve foot doors all the time. I make a lot of large doors. My wife sprays them all, so we're a small shop. I made a lot of pivot hinge doors the last couple of years. So but if you're telling me just to stick with sauce, I'll i you know, agree with you. And um, so there's oil what bronze. Is that you can get that in the sauce, I'm sure. We stock it. Right. When you'd be able to get hundred and twenty of them? That, yeah, I mean that's not you know that that's a lot of hinges, but that's not more of the story. Well, it's thirty doors I have to build, and uh, a lot of my slab doors and are easy, but it's thirty doors, and I thought four hinges per door since they're nine feet tall. 
Um, yeah, I mean, sauce, I think, might have a different quantity of hinges for a nine-footer, or at least the spacing. Um, but if you're going to build all these doors, those hinges are going to be there before you need them. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't need them in a couple of weeks. Even a month from now will be fine. But yeah. uh, What doors are you right. building? They're a lot more slab. Then there's some of the louvered white oak. They're all white oak doors. All style and rail, obviously. Right, right. Well, all those doors are full of slab, like veneer core, you know, flat slab that I'm having laid up, you know, so I don't have to build these doors, but typically I build them myself. Yeah, if you're doing just, you know, flush architectural wood doors, we, you know, we do that as well. I distribute for uh, Strucco is a small company up in Wisconsin. They lay up an architectural AWI 1300, you know, PC5. Um, and other people, there's a more, com not commodity, but a more commodity company in Michigan called Five Lakes. And the obvious others, Egger, right. you know, Marshfield used to be Warehouser and on and on and on, VT Industries. Um, Grand. Yeah, I don't get much call for this kind of work, typically. You know, typically it's one or two big custom doors myself at a time. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not getting that. But I'll certainly get your, keep your number and, uh, um, well, let me. Well, I may give me. Let me know what what kind of sauce engines you have. Uh, I certainly probably will want to buy a, pa a box this week, whatever you have. You know. Why don't you give me your email and I will send you a quote for them and, and get the lead time. That's fine. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.